Hey guys, and welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Eyes of Heaven. All right, we're back here. We're we don't have Galen anymore, sadly. Ricky's got a, a bit of a, a cold going on, <laughs> so my voice is gonna sound pretty strange. Yeah, and uh, we've been <laughs> sorry for taking the break, but we kind of had to because we got like a shit ton of snow. And, you know, when snow happens here, it's like get bread and milk. <laughs> Yeah, we we live in the south, so when snow happens here, <laughs> snow is not common. It's not common, and like it's like the end of the world. Have you seen Day After Tomorrow? It's pretty much like that. <laughs> it's pretty much like that. I'm not. I have confidence in my abilities, so I'm not going to really do side missions. Right but now. but I was pretty much trapped in my house for a while. <laughs> I was getting pissed off because I really wanted the Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, no, nah, man, nice. And I'm like, did Mr. Freeze build a fucking compound near your house? Did you want me to die? <laughs> did you want me to die? Just a little. <laughs> this JoJo video package wasn't worth it. <laughs> uh, but I imagine he said something either pertaining to Star Platinum or yada yada yada. yada. Or he's gonna he's going to bring somebody out to raise <laughs> Joseph. Why did I expect any different? The textures on that on those stones look really nice. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Why did I even? Even though they just like added a crack here and a crack there. That's more cracks than we have. Isn't? Isn't it supposed to be like? It, was the was the training grounds in? It wasn't run down, was it? In the original part. Yeah, like I paid attention to every little detail, which I did, but I didn't. Well, you, sh well, you should. Cause the shit sometimes matters and yeah, attention to detail and stuff, man. So I've been telling Adolfo to play Undertale for months, and he watched the video on it. I was like, man, I'm gonna play Undertale. <laughs> yes, I'm going to play Undertale. Hell, we might play it for the channel if I feel up to it. <laughs> no promises, because <clears throat> we still have to finish Resident Evil. And we wanted to shovel night. And, and we wanted to shovel night. Speaking of shovel night, I got the only other amiibo I really wanted. <laughs> And I guess we have to do one until dawn. We have to finish until dawn sometime. <laughs> we have so much we gotta do. Yeah. Backlogs, my friend. Backlogs. Uh, I've been caught up in my own shit, though. Recently. <laughs> like ice. <laughs> like ice. And Yakuza 5. How are you enjoying that? And buddy? Bloodborne. It's, it's amazing. I saw that Jalen was playing the new one because I saw Moon Runes on his account. <laughs> Jalen got the much... Looks like much more funner, uh, yeah, cause that is a Ku Kawani. That's I think one, it's a, right? Yeah, it's a remake of one. We might get it, they, which I would love. I just, <clears throat> I want, all I want right now is a release date for Zero. <laughs> yeah, I really want to play Zero. Because it's Yakuza in the 80s. That's, that's cool. The 80s are always really cool. Yeah. I saw a dude at work, he was the 80s personified. <laughs> He had the sunglasses. It was at like 2 o'clock at night. He had sunglasses, a mullet, a jean jacket. It sounds like Kenny Omega. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was the man. Apparently so are you because you just got a trophy. <laughs> he had like four girls with him too, which I'm assuming were his daughters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we, I guess. <laughs> so we just sat watch his... Okay. I was hoping they'd go farther. The range on bubbles are bad. Oh man, where can that possibly be? Are we going to the Nixon atmosphere place? The Nixon. <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, that yeah, is the Kennedy Space Center. Part six, everybody. Or Cape Canaveral. Because <laughs> everybody likes part six. I have not met a fan who, who tells me part six is their favorite. No. You're right. Even our, our friend Matt, he, uh,. He skipped part six. I guess he was, was. I mean, you don't have to finish it. You, know, you could start at part seven. You honestly can. But as Jolin Kujo. This cops are looking really generic right now. babe. I love you, baby. But I love other parts more. I'm sorry. <laughs> and meanwhile, Jalen shows up on screen. <laughs> yep. That's actually how Jalen looks like. <laughs> Jalen does look pretty menacing. He is black and tall. <laughs> So that's actually pretty accurate description. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so anyway, shit's about to go down between two lesbians and a preacher. I still remember a description somebody made. A priest teaches two lesbians <laughs> that time flies. 
Yes. They're not actually lesbians, by the way. It's just a little... They might in- as well be. Well, they're they're close. But, like, this is, it's just a little in-joke we had. We, we know it's insensitive, but, hey. In-jokes are in-jokes. In-jokes are in-jokes, and we... And we just like to share them with you guys. Everything is sideways because Poochie is bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) Joe Tara looks so confused. He's just like, huh. Yeah. The world is round. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I'm pretty sure he gave like a one-liner or something. Something really clever? Yeah. Like, give me a break. Like, something I can't think of because I am not clever. Good grief. Yep. You are pretty clever. Oh, I, I, I'm not clever on demand. Someone sent him hate mail on Street Fighter V, <laughs> and he responded with Barbara Streisand. Well, I wanted to tell him something, like, so dumb that they wouldn't reply to me. <laughs> it didn't work. But, but, like, I'm just like, I, I can't be witty and, like, snappy on demand. I have to, it, it just happens. <laughs> yeah. So, your daughter from the future is talking to a kid. What do you assume? Things are getting pretty wacky. <laughs> because remember, Jolene doesn't even exist for him right now. I never understood her outfit. Is it all just one thing? Yes. No, it's not. She, it's a, it's like a, a bra and panty onesie, and she has jeans over it. Okay. I, that's it. She just chooses to match them? Yep. Hey, it's JoJo. Everything has to match. And she has a butterfly tattoo, dude. That's hardcore. I have a butterfly tattoo. It's on your eyeball. It, it's it's on my chest. You know, I don't understand how people can get tattoos on their eyeballs. Because they're dumb? That doesn't... <laughs> I, I imagine that hurts terribly. I imagine they'd have to put, give you a sedative or something for that. Hey, you look like me. Are you my daughter? Who no, is, I'm not, sir. Who but is, this girl might be. So why they? Why do they always spike everybody's hair? <laughs> in the games? In, in the games and in the anime. Like, they always spike ha- their hairs. Like, Emporio's hair was curly. It was not spiked. Actually, let me... Let me... Look that up. Reference? Yeah. You know you're going to have to put that on screen. No. <laughs> they can look for themselves. <laughs> but you could, you could flash a manga panel right here. Nobody cares about Jotaro. Not even Jotaro's bad lip syncing cares. So, I like how the budget... It seems like the Storm 4 budget went to this for story mode. Yeah. Oh god. Let's talk about let's talk about Storm about Storm Four. So a lot of the story mode in Storm Four, it's uh, still images from the anime. Mm. And I was right. It's curly. But that's not Endgame Emporio. <laughs> that's when they fought that dude. That, that's manga Emporio. <laughs> that might as well be Endgame Emporio. But, it, but but point is, his hair was not curly. It might, it might have been curly for like the last two panels. But <laughs> Call out a battle stance? <laughs> Who? All of them look pretty wacky right now. Jolene's looks really dumb though. Like, they're gonna show you. You'll see. I can't, I can't tell if she's going to fight or dance with someone. <laughs> let's level her up. Yeah, let's, let's do that before she gets destroyed. Let's level up everybody. So I was rewatching the opening of the Guilty Gear Revelator. It's great, isn't it? It's a good song. I need to watch it. I've only heard the song. You've like, never seen the intro. No, do they have the actual intro up like on YouTube? The arcade intro, yeah. So, yeah. Jam's not in it. Damn. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, well. She's been replaced by my new waifu. Caesar. Waifu, waifu in an old man. <laughs> I'm gonna main the shit out of that thing. <laughs> so, uh... According to Guilty Gear, a girl, it's a high school girl, right? Or it looks like a high school girl? It's a lolly. Yeah. She she managed to build a robot. It looks like Goken. That looks like Goken from Street Fighter. It's pretty- and she pilots said robot, or cyborg. In battle. In battle, from the inside. Like, the chest opens up in the beginning, so you can see that she's piloting it. 
and then it closes up. That's pretty rad. I'm not even gonna lie. Our system works is fucking out there when it comes to when it comes to stupid weird shit. Like Bedman, he was a pretty strange character to Whoa. begin with. I am sleeping guy. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. it's a cool concept though. Yeah. It is. But a robotic bed? Come on, dude. <laughs> he even has bed in his name. That's his name too, Bedman. That's you. That's that only rivals Batman. <laughs> Isn't that his name? That man. Yeah, that man. Uh, his parents must have been loving ones. I'll tell you that. Don't you wish your parents would have named you that guy? That, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Ese way. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds like a name. <laughs> like something really exotic. <laughs> but you know what that means? That guy. That dumbass. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they all kind of shama that with that? I do actually. That's lovely. Man, it's all right. No, it's no, a, it's no, all right. Nobody in our family is proper, so <laughs> I'm only proper when I need to be, and it certainly isn't on YouTube. I never know when I'm doing something right. Well, I mean, it, it would. I mean, help. I'm, I'm doing good. It would help if we could read it, <laughs> you know. By the way, there is an English release for this coming out, isn't there? The summer. Yep. So, look forward to that, people. Go out and buy it. Support good shit so we don't get another Naruto game. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Storm 4 actually looks like a solid game. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so over Naruto right now. Me too. He was, mess he was messaging me like, man, I think I'm outgrowing anime. And I'm like, man, fuck you, Adolfo. I am. Uh, there are, honestly, there's nothing I'm really interested in until part 4 comes out. Well, I'm not even that jazzed about part 4, honestly. You'll watch it, though. Because I've already, you know, read it. <laughs> but you'll watch it. I'll watch it to support the series and stuff, but, like... You'll like it. I'll, I'm just gonna be like, I've seen this. <laughs> like, the only new thing I've gotten into recently is Berserk. That's, that's not even really that new. It, it was new to me. It's new to me, damn it. Yeah, it's new to me, and that's the only thing that's really grabbed my attention lately. By the way, guys, I have a Berserk tattoo. <laughs> so yeah, it does. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I've gotten really into it, but, like, everything else, like, ever since I caught up with JoJo, like, way t two years ago... Two Still not caught up with the manga. No, yeah, I'm, like, a chapter behind. <laughs> what was the last chapter you read? Spoilers. Um... When they fought Pele and Guy, after they beat him. Dude, you're far behind. How many? Like, no, 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 when, when Jobin went down the drain. That, that. Joshu. Joshu, yeah, when Joshu went down the drain. Oh, you're like two chapters fine. Yeah, so I guess I'll just, I could read those in like. No, you're ten three, minutes. you're three. I can read those in like ten minutes, though. The newest one's a flashback. No, oh, what's the point? <laughs> it's it's exposition. Uh, it's about Kira and, and Joshu's movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll read that. Were they, were they the unstoppable duo? Yes. Sweet. Apparently, Kira's Killer Queen can do sheer heart attack too, but since it's in the body and it can kill people. All these spoilers in this father son. <laughs> And it's father, son, father, daughter. Well, she might as well be a man, dude. She... Father, daughter, team attack. Man, I wish Kiss did that as much as she's doing right now. <laughs> All right, what, 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 did, what did Kiss do, honestly? What did Kiss do? She took off that dude's tongue. She, she fought some guy that had a suicidal stand. And sports back. And she killed a guy who was who sounds like a brand of like cleats, <laughs> sports max. <laughs> not, and not even like a good brand of cleats, like Nikes or something like that. It's like the ones you see in like foreign stores when, when you like visit like Brazil or something. Like you, when you go to a bazaar or something. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you want to buy something nice, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, sports max." You want to buy sports max? Very good. Very. You run very fast. <laughs> And you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sports met. <laughs> but uh, uh, I like on I like on Sylvia. Like, I hear he, he, down. he gets a lot of like black for not being that good of a character. <laughs> he almost got killed by fictional characters. Yeah, he, he he gets a lot of like crap for not being that like well developed and shit. Why did he change genders? Because the original concept was Jolene was going to have a lesbian relationship with uh, Anna Sue. 
the female version of him, but I think I think Araki. I think the eye made his name sound more feminine. I think Araki uh, either changed his mind himself or somebody told him. I I don't think he would be into it. Well, remember when uh, well, freaking that one dude in Part A, his stand design changed a chapter later. The dude oh. who had the stand to control control people by uh, well, Araki changes all the changes things all the time. Like people change design in the middle of parts, and like you see, people, Jitaro just punched her down. Like people change parts, like they just change like yeah, parts of their stand and like things that their stand can do in the middle of parts. Che- check part five for reference. And like where Giona just like completely just lost an ability, <laughs> like that one that he did the Bruno at the yeah. very beginning. Yeah, where he like punched his tooth out, and he never did that again. And we just forgot about that. It can apparently like dull and slow down pain or something or whatever it was. What was it? I don't um, even know. Something, something, something. Perception. Yeah. Well, at- <laughs> we beat these guys who are easily beatable. They weren't that tough in the story. Hermes got bodied because she turned into a snail. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Yo, weather report was the man though. What, what was his name? Like his real name? Oh god, I just completely f- forgot, dude. Wasn't it uh, Dominique? Dominica? Yes, Dominico Pucci. Pucci. And Pucci is Enrico Pucci, right? Yep. Or an English version, Father Pucci. Oh man, the corpse heart the corpse parts are plot in this game. <laughs> they keep the plot going. They do. They ma- they kill our enemies and they make us friends. I don't know what to think of his coral coral blue number three <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> I like I like his green color better, honestly. The one from All Star Battle? Yeah, it's it fits him a lot better. It just... It... This was one of his alternate colors. Yeah, but I don't know. I've never liked blue and white that much. You know? It does look really weird. Is... I like this color for Jolene, though. Yeah? Though I do like her green hair a lot better, too. I'll be right back. He's being summoned, so you guys are gonna have to put up with me. So I'd like to give a shout out to all my beautiful fans out there. Hey guys. They're not impressed by my exposition. What exposition? I uh, gave a shout out to all my beautiful fans. I'm, I'm sure they're they're proud and happy. You can give a shout out to Homegirl. We haven't shout we haven't given her a shout out in a while. Give her shout outs every day. <laughs> Well, anyway, did I miss anything too important? No, but the back of Jolene's hair looks really weird. I don't think hair works like that, but... <laughs> it makes it look like a clip-on, but... Yeah, it didn't. It looks it looked very artificial. And... And uh, Anasui's outfit makes it look like he's a blue strawberry. Because he got, like, little, like, pits in it. <laughs> I don't even want to comment about what's going on with Hermes. Or Hermes. Or Hermes. Which Hermes. is it? Hermes. I think is what it is. We've been saying names wrong this whole time. His eyes are incredibly creepy. He, he is the Does ghost boy who was born in a prison. He was born in that prison. I wonder what happened to his mother. Remember Poochie killed her. Oh yeah. Because Poochie's a dick. And he, and he need a... Well, his one, mother was... Why was she in prison in the first place? And he and he need, like, a, a girl in the face for trying to steal one of his crosses. That was pretty funny. <laughs> he, he grabbed her and, and hit her with his knee. Put you guys' brother lynched. <laughs> he, he didn't know that was his brother. <laughs> but he got his brother lynched. That whole that whole situation was fucked no, up. No way, he did it because that was his brother. That whole situation was fucked up. Yeah, he knew because he was trying to date his sister. Remember? So, so Poochie, being a black man, goes to some <laughs> members of the KKK to go lynch his wider brother. And he, he goes like, I, "I need you guys to stop my brother from dating my sister." And the uh, police officer was like, "All right, boy." 
Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with something. <laughs> Do something. What's we'll, we'll solve your problem, there, father? I like to imagine that somebody in there is like, "This turtle's getting pretty crowded." Yeah. There's only one sofa, guys. There was. And one mini fridge. Stop bringing people. <laughs> so everybody's just pretty much getting a free ride to the end of the game inside that turtle. <laughs> pretty much. Hey, look. It's it's weather report. Is that a hat? He's alive. No, it's his hair. Ow. Why does he have horns? Because he's weather report. <laughs> that answers nothing. That answers everything. I don't believe that's a police... I don't believe that's a proper prison uniform. That's the bigger question. <laughs> he just took his normal outfit and wrote GD Street Jail. Yeah. You know, I, I often forget there was male prisoners in, in part six. That's what half the villains were. Yeah, but like I just I I forget because like it was, we we got to see a lot of the female side of the prison, and we rarely got to see male prisoners. The one with the dragon was cool though. <laughs> he he got beat pretty brutally. <laughs> yes, he did. But didn't everybody in that part though? Pretty much. And then there was that stand that looked like Pesci, Paula joking around everywhere trying to be like friendly. Yeah, that was pretty funny. You're like me, guys. Trust me. <laughs> and it was called Yo-Yo Ma. Was that what it was? Yeah. That what it was called? I think it was named after the, yeah, the violinist. You know the only reason I know who he is is because when I was a kid I used to watch Arthur a lot. And he was on it. <laughs> I never. And I was thinking, I, I, and as a kid, I was thinking, why the hell is this dude's name Yo Yo Ma? I never got, I never got a chance to watch Arthur, but from what I hear about it as an adult, I kind of wish I did. Look at that time he punched the shit out of his sister. Yeah. And didn't I make like an episode where like a kid has AIDS or something? Or like, I, a, or like a person has AIDS? I, I think so, and they were making... No, that was Captain Planet. <laughs> I remember they were like, Oh, he has AIDS, you can't get near him. Uh, I, remember Captain I remember Captain... Captain Planet was a treat sometimes. <laughs> like, I would more or less laugh the whole time other than learn about like environmental stuff. He just completely blew through my attack. Because he's boss weather report, dude. Weather well, report was really strong on his own, remember? I like how he went out of his way to go grab that. <laughs> AI! Top notch AI going on over here. I think it's a reactionary one. It only does things when you do things. I don't know, they're fighting it out right now. Oh, now. I never under quite understood weather reports to stand. Like, we. Like, past the, like. Weather report stuff. I do. I can t control the weather. He can do some weird shit. Snails. Snails and make it rain poisonous frogs. Like he just did. Did yeah. you see it? Yeah. Like his stand was a weird one. I want to see what L1 and X will let me do. Cause it's loading. And like he could. <laughs> and like they didn't go much into it because he fucking died. Didn't he get? Didn't Jolene hit him with a car? Yes. No, Jolene landed a car. She crashed the car next to him, which distracted him. And Poochie killed him. Poochie killed him. Like Poochie is one of the weather report had that had that fight in the bag. Okay, so you, you can't get that. Him. Did absolutely nothing. So you can't hit him while he has those clouds around him. Oh, you uh, can. Do you take damage? Yep. Now it's over. <laughs> Watch this again because I missed it the first time. It's awesome. Oh, there's that war attack we never got to see Stone King Except that one time with Marilyn Monroe. But it was with baseball. Marilyn Manson. Manson, yeah. <laughs> Monroe, oh, Monroe's the Hollywood singer horror person. Yeah. And Manson is the Hollywood emo singer horror person. <laughs> Manson is that thing. Yep. So, not bad for being away from the game for a while. So we hope you guys enjoyed this part. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next part.